So Steve, you're playing Bad Ape, but before we talk about that role, I want to ask, you know, like, what is it like to get into the mindset of an ape? Like, how do you research or prepare? Do you just start? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, I, I didn't. I didn't know. I knew it would be pretty involved, but I missed the camp that they have because I was working. It came in late. I had like a week and a half to work with Terry, who plays Rocket, who's really the guy. And I got nervous the first day when we sat down because I thought we would just immediately start quadrupeding and, you know, you want to do it like this and just mimic me and, ah, oh, you got it, man, you'll be great. And we sat down and really kind of talked about the essence of an ape. And I knew that it was a lot deeper than I had, you know. Yeah. But luckily I had that kind of training. I, 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 I went to school at the American Repertory Theater, Cambridge, Mass, which was very, we worked with a lot of like wild East European directors who did real crazy physical stuff that was grounded in reality, but big stage production. And it felt like that. And I love right. that work. Yeah, and it and it and it grew to like me and Terry, like going around base camp as apes, and I, <laughs> it was great because I was so self conscious at first, like what are we gonna do, like you know, like he just you know, and we walked around like you know, yeah. around these, you know, and I. And, and he would cry like, you never, you never put your finger, you know, it's always your knuckles. And we would go around corners and there'd be a dog and we'd react to it. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> and, and we would spend like hours doing yeah. this, you know, just kind of, and, yeah. and, and, and I'd realize how, how much I was sweating and how much it hurt, you know. <laughs> I was Before concentrating work, on muscles, well, I was concentrating on the essence of an right. ape, and I, and then I'm, I, at the end of the day, I'm like Epsom salt bath, like oh my <laughs> god, this is insane. I need to clean up my knuckles, but yeah. so bad ape. We saw a teaser of him uh, yeah. at the showcase, and he's definitely got some damage going on because of his experience with humans. Uh, but he's also a key role, it looks like, for mm -hmm. Caesar's storyline. What would you say his biggest role is in the movie and his dynamic between the apes that we saw him meeting in that scene? He's an outsider. And he's kind of like a, a hill rat, you know, he's been living on his own. So he's really excited to be a part of a group, which is, which is nice and, yeah. and fun and, you know, and light yeah. compared to everything you've kind of been through with them in the last two movies. Right. And um, he's integral to the, to the story in that he, he has knowledge of where they're going. They're on a journey and he's kind of the, yeah. the scout, Very you know. Cool. And so he, his information is what, not his... He doesn't have any superpowers. <laughs> no, he he's knows, not going to put a cape on? He knows what, you know, what past to go through. Right, he's right. like the Jeremiah Johnson. He, he's guy. also bringing a little touch of humor to this franchise. And, I mean, it's, it, it deals with some very serious issues, and it seems like he's bringing some levity, especially yeah, in that campfire serious. scene. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. I, I mean, it's not like all of a sudden there's comedy. It doesn't become it's a comedy, it, it, but it know, is. A, it's it like a new be, heart, it seems like. It's just, yeah. just to see a different speed and, a, yeah. and a, you know... A guy who's like this and excited, it just comes off a little more humorous, I guess, than like. Yeah. Right. I, I thought I thought hearing you say the name for the first time was awesome, um, but uh, you mentioned the sets yesterday and that the sets were just huge. With were you ever intimidated just walking onto these sets with guys like Andy who? Uh, oh yeah, no. Day one was the most intimidated I've ever been on any set ever. Wow. Because. Just the ape aspect, I was like, I have to be as good as they are, and they've done this for years. Yeah. You don't get, like, a few days. What you shoot that first day is what they're going to use. And if yeah. it's not good, it's not good. No pressure. Right. And then I walk <laughs> into this three-story set that probably took, you know, a crew of 50 to build in a month. And I thought, this is my set. Not wow. used for anything else but my scene. Oh man, I can't tell you how scared you get. Like you, know, but it's great. You 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 really kind of thrive off it. You you, you use that as like, I'm gonna kick ass, man. Right. I'm gonna kill it. You know. I get nervous just walking in to do the interview. So, yeah, you know, I mean, I get nervous about set. every set. But, and then <laughs> sure. that was Thank like you. sets, but most of it was out in the woods. You know, right. if, you, if it was like we were next to a river in the script, we were next to a river. You know?